sorry. Next thought here. When the bowler starts his or her run, meaning from this point, the minute the bowler takes his or her first step in an attempt to start the run, that is when the ball is in play. So what happens when the bowler does not have a run? When is the ball in play? When he starts with his delivery action. When he starts with his delivery action, correct. Like some, especially junior people, to have some of the kids they just jump in. That is when the ball is in play. So from that point, the bowler is allowed to run out the non-striker if the non-striker has left his or her run. Meaning, I start my run up. I can stop and I can throw the wickets down. I can put the wicket down. Umpire is going to be out. But now, the question comes into play. Out, right? The bowler gets to this point, there. 
take another example. What if the bowler gets into his stride, the arm doesn't come past the release point, then turns around and sees the batter is out of his, uh, his or her crease, looks at the batter and then realizes but you're out of your crease and throws the stumps while the batter is not even back in the crease. So, so bowler bows the ball, the arm doesn't go past the release point, bowler turns around, sees the batter is out of crease and then walks and then both of them race, one to get back into the crease and the other one trying to run the, the, the non-striker out. Would that be out or not to answer the own question, it has to be, if you at the release point, it cancels out running out the non-striker. No, but the arm hasn't passed the release point. Yet. Can, can I give a demonstration? Yes, <laughs> and then try to run the non-striker out. So would that be out or not out? I would say not out. Mm. Because if it's before his release, or at the release, before his release point, I would not give it out. If he pulled back his arm and he didn't follow through. I, I would say that. I think if I was an umpire in that situation, if I saw that going on, I think probably before he turns around and throws the stunts. I'm looking at an aborted bowling action, so I'm probably calling him yeah. the devil yeah. left arm. Must be a clear intention to run out the long side. Explain conditions. 
So I think that is not the clear intention though. But how the captain that is standing there, he appeals. Then what? Then playing conditions, not out. Is it on to the play? Yes. Playing conditions, low is low. Short of your ground, before the release point, even if it's accidental, low says it's out. Playing conditions, clear intention to run out the long strike. So yes, our playing condition is silent, but you will tell the captain this then falls under, uh, because it's silent in ours, it falls under the ICC uh, playing condition, hence 
there needs to be an intent because they were now in the mother. Non-striker was short. You then give the non-striker out. 
and run out. If the captain wants to withdraw the appeal, no problem, the captain can withdraw the appeal. If not, you give the non-striker out and run out. Uh, if I have a major stay, look from a view. When I stand, I, I never, I saw the watch the ball quite correctly. I watched uh, the game. So, um, I, is there not a different way that you can make it? That we can do it? It's, it's as a, you stand straight again, you know, you're watching the game here. You burn it so hard. That's just what the practical is. Maar jy doe dan paar in techniek, jy is as strike as in, try to watch the ball from the bowlers and do not stand as strike as in, looking at the striker. Try to get into the habit of trying to watch it from the bowlers and it's going to take you a bit of time to get it, but get into that habit. That habit, it's going to make it easier for you. You're going to see everything that happens. You're able to see whether the bowler took the ball. You're able to see whether it's before the release point. You're, you're able to follow the ball as it release, as the bowler releases the ball. You're able to see waist high foot toss much easier. You're able to see short pitch bowling so much easier. So get into that practice, focusing on uh, the bowler uh, as soon as the uh, on that point, as a speeder gun pump, you follow the ball as the bowler come running into the water. So now I'm watching me, so now the wind is popping and the bowler is falling off. But now the batsman didn't get affected by it because he played the shot and the ball went for a fall. But now the slip fielder was distracted by the bowler falling off. And he wanted us to cancel. No, no, get ball, get ball, but I was watching the bowler coming in. So I never saw the bowler come on the floor. One, yeah, one yeah. Right and then we yeah. said, no, I'm going to call it because it didn't affect the baseball or the bowler. But the stiff was complaining. I'm talking about yeah. it. So, so, I, so I, I, you know, I, I hear you, but focus, try to follow the ball from the bowler's hand. Yeah. Get, get there quickly. If it fell off and you didn't start, see it, what are you going to do? Play on. Play on. Yeah, you cannot call unless you see it. Yes. Otherwise, you cannot call it. Happy? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, believe me, uh, you know, um, standing a strike is in with Jofra Arts of Bowling, uh, you need to, to watch it from the bowlers hand. There's lots of sore balls, there's lots of high food, food tosses, you need to watch it from the bowlers and do not focus on striking. So, 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 about 10 that's been adopted. So what I will do is to remedy the situation because there's been an increase of man cats now reported. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's a form of dismissal. But we have the toss to discuss it with the, with the captains to say, at the toss you tell them, listen, it's a form of dismissal now. We are not going to consult you whether it's out or whether it's not out. We're going to adjudicate it according to the law. If you want to withdraw your appeal, so be it. You will communicate it with us. Good umpiring practice is also to jot down the ball, the bowler, and the batsman. Because you're going to have situations where that batsman goes and scores 100. They're going to come back to that dismissal and say, but the umpi, but the umpi, but you have it on your body or to cover yourself. So that's just some, a tip for good umpiring practice just to remedy the situations. The captain cannot say the umpire is not before. We did it with the court law, we did it with the saliva rule, we can do it with the man as well. Sorry, run out. Another umpiring tip, if you are going to say, do see the non-striker leave his or her ground early. What I will do is, I will whisper in the non-striker's ear, 
I notice that you are leaving the ground early. Please stay behind the trees until the ball is released. So if it should happen, the non-striker only has himself or herself to play. Similarly, how you work with the bowler, if you notice the bowler is getting tight on the front foot, what do you do? You whisper the bowler's ear, tight, tight on the front foot, tight on the front foot. Similarly, when you do see the batsman leaving his or her ground early, whisper in his or her ear that stay behind until the, the bowler releases the ball. Any other questions on running out the non-striker? If not, Mr. President,